If you're like me, I'm sure over your life, you have learned a lot of lessons. God knows I have. And I'm still learning and learning. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hit subscribe for me. And if you're a return, I'm just going to leave some lessons that I have learned over these 49 years. Lesson number one, trust my gut. It never steers me wrong. Even as a young girl, I remember having a keen gut. I remember being in like second grade, going to the school in Chicago, and it was in a bad neighborhood. We always lived on the west side, and some of the areas my mom and dad picked wasn't the best, which it was a little weird because my parents were very um, like old-fashioned, super clean and very uh, hardworking people. Nevertheless, we went to the school on the west side and this teacher, she just seemed kind of shady. I don't know what it was about her. And I told her, we're moving. You're not going to see me anymore. And I was so embarrassed the next school year, I came back and I remember seeing her in the hallway and I was like, ugh. I, and I, I was embarrassed because I thought she would think that I was a liar, but it wasn't that at all. It was just that my parents were trying to buy a home and the deal fell through. So it wasn't that I lied, it just wasn't our time yet. But eventually we moved to a better apartment in a better neighborhood. Then after that we ended up buying a house. So those were happy times. But always trust your gut when you go on a job interview, when you're first meeting someone, when you're out dating in these streets. Go with your gut. If it feels weird or you get a weird feeling, it's usually your intuition or your gut telling you, stranger danger, this isn't right, this person is shady. You know, it's always something. And I bet you have done some things and you've looked back and said, I knew I shouldn't have went there. I knew I shouldn't have picked that. That was your gut telling you, so go for it. Always believe in it. Lesson number two, everyone is not for you. Even people that smile in your face, even family members. And, and you have to remember this. It's not about you. It's about them. So sometimes when we are living our dreams, creating a YouTube channel, going back to school, bettering ourselves, working out, losing weight, getting married, you are a reflection of perhaps something they want to do. So instead of them saying, hey, how did you lose that weight? Let me ask you something. How did you start your YouTube channel? they rather be envious or jealous. And it's one of the most hurtful things. It's something I'll never understand. I'm very grateful. I feel we all have our own walk in this life and our own path. And there's no need to be jealous of anyone's success. Number three, stop being so scary, Tammy. Don't have fear. When I am not fearful, I'm at my best. When I don't take, I have to take a chance on many things. I remember doing hot yoga with my uncle back in 2007 and he was telling me whatever you do when we go in this room don't run out because it's over 100 degrees. Sure enough I was about to pass out but when I came out I felt like a new person. 90 minutes of stretching in over 100 degrees. It is quite the experience. If you never did it you might want to give it a try. It is very um, I'm not going to lie, I said relaxing, but it's going to help you later get the toxins out. It'll help you with stretching and relieving stress. Hot yoga, Binkram yoga. Check it out. I know it's in your city, but I was um, glad I went for it. I'm glad I went back to school and got my master's degree, but because I did something that I'm passionate about social work, helping others, and I've been wanting to do that since I was 19. Go for it. Don't be scared. Just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? You succeed. Tip number four, listen to advice by those who live what they preach. If you ever go through a breakup, you're going to hear 14 billion quotes. If you lose someone close to you due to a passing, they'll cliche you to death. They're in a better place. Things will be better. Just remember the good times. You know what? Sometimes when it comes to losing a loved one, a nice pat. You just pat someone and say, I'm so sorry for your loss. Sometimes those are the best words. Don't do cliches. 
Look at me. It's already be Thanksgiving. I would love my dad back. I would love my mom back. I don't want to hear that they're in a better place. My, my parents were believers. Of course they are. But maybe I'm sorry, Tammy. Or would you like to come over to my house for Thanksgiving? Although, I am very blessed. I have a beautiful sister and her husband. But listen to the advice of those who live what they preach. I hear people say stuff to me. And I'm like, in my mind. That's not what you did when you had a breakup. You know, another thing people tell you, I wouldn't put up with that. I wouldn't put up with that. You don't know what they're putting up with. They're not telling you what they're putting up with. Watch people. Don't so don't listen to the words. Watch their actions. That's a lesson I learned. Tip number five, when it comes to my parents, I don't per se remember those toys they bought or those clothes. What I remember sitting on the couch with my dad watching the Cubs and the Chicago Bulls. I remember road trips to Nashville, Mobile, Alabama, Detroit with my mom and dad and sisters. I remember fishing trips with my dad. I remember dinners with my mom. I remember concerts. They'll remember when they get older is the time you spent with them the positive words you told them, how you made them feel. And that was my tip number five. Number six, don't be lazy in life. Hit it hard. Go hard in the paint. Whatever you want. If it is school, get back in there and get to studying. Give it your all. If it is dating, get out. Enjoy life. Mingle. If it's opening up your own business, do a business plan. Score.org has free business plans, free CEOs all throughout the United States wanting to help you. Those were my lessons. Hit like, hit subscribe. I have plenty more of where these came from, but those are just some I thought of for today. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so much.